good evening students today let us see the topics uh, multinomial theorem okay so now let us see what do you mean by binomial if x is a linear term and y is a linear term then x plus y is called a binomial if x y z are linear terms then x plus y minus z can be called as trinomial okay then multinomial is a sum or a difference of several linear terms multinomial is the sum or difference of three or more linear terms then it is called multinomial now let us see what is the statement of multinomial theorem okay. if you take the variables as x1 x2 x3 and so on xr all are linear variables then the expansion of in the expansion of x1 plus x2 plus x3 and so on xr whole power n the coefficient of x1 power q1 into x2 power q2 into x3 power q3 and so on xr power qr is given by the formula n factorial by q1 factorial into q2 factorial and so on qr factorial where n is the positive integer that is whole power n and q1 is uh, uh, power of x1 and q2 is power of uh, x2 q3 is power of x3 and so on qr is power of xr so n factorial by q1 factorial into q2 factorial and so on qr factorial is the coefficient of x1 power q1 into x2 power q2 and so on xr power qr in the expansion of x1 plus x2 and so on xr whole power n here you should remember the condition sum of the powers must be n that is q1 plus q2 and so on the last one is qn it must be n and you can also give the number of terms in the expansion it is given by n plus r minus 1 cn number of terms in this expansion is n plus r minus 1 cn where n is whole power n and r is there are r variables in the given expression okay so number of terms is n plus r minus 1 cn let us take an example problem so in the expansion of x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 whole power 10 find the coefficient of x1 square into x3 into x4 cube into x5 power 4 and also give the number of terms in this expansion okay so here the variables are five variables x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 and n is the positive integer 10 okay let us consider the term x1 square x3 x4 cube x5 power 4 and it is rewritten by including all the variables x2 is also included and written as into x2 power 0 x2 power 0 is 1 okay according to the formula it is n factorial by n is 10 n factorial n is 10 10 factorial by take the power of x1 x1 power is 2 so denominator will be 2 factorial into the next power is 0 into 0 factorial next power is 1 into 1 factorial next power is 3 into 3 factorial next power is 4 into 4 factorial so on simplifying that we get 12600 so according to the formula it is n factorial by q1 factorial into q2 factorial into q3 factorial q4 factorial q5 factorial n is 10 here q1 is the power of x1 that is 2 q2 is power of x2 that is 0 q3 is the power of x3 that is 1 q4 is the power of x4 that is 3 q5 is the power of x5 that is 4 and we also need the number of terms in this expansion according to the formula it is n plus r minus 1 c n n is 10 r is the number of variables here number of variables are 5 so it will be 10 plus 5 minus 1 c 10 so it will be 14 c 10 so we can simplify 14 c 10 using the formula and cr equals to n factorial by n minus r factorial into r factorial and we got the answer as 1001 so there will be 1001 terms in the expansion of x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 whole power 10 okay 
let us take the second example. So, in the expansion of 2x minus 3y plus 5z whole power 8, if you take 2x as x1 and minus 3y as x2 and 5z as x3, then what is the coefficient of x1 cube, x2 cube into x3 square? Okay, and also give the coefficient of x cube, y cube, z square. Okay, so according to the formula, according to the formula, it is n factorial by q1 factorial into q2 factorial into q3 factorial. Here, there are three variables. They are x, y, z, and x, y, z is transformed into x1, x2, x3. So there are three variables x, y, z, and they are transformed into another three variables x1, x2, x3. Okay, there are three variables. So according to the formula, n factorial, n is 8 by q1 factorial. q1 is power of x1, that is 3, into q2 factorial, that is power of x2, that is 3, into q3 factorial, that is power of x3, that is 2. So on simplifying, we got 560. Okay, so the first part is completed. The coefficient of x1 cube, x2 cube plus x3 square is 560. But we need the coefficient of x cube plus y cube plus z, z square. For that, you need to replace, in this, you need to replace x1 by 2x, x2 by minus 3y, x3 by 5z. Okay. Suppose if the coefficient of x square is 5, suppose the coefficient of x square is 5, then the term will be 5x square. Suppose if 5 is the coefficient of x square, then the term is 5x square. Similarly, here 560 is the coefficient of x1 cube into x2 cube into x3 square. Then the term will be 560 times x1 cube into x2 cube into x3 square. Okay. So in this in this term, you replace x1 by 2x, x2 by minus 3y, and x3 by 5z. Okay. On replacing, you got 560 into 2x whole cube minus 3y whole cube 5z whole square. And on simplification, you got the coefficient of x cube, y cube, z square as minus 560 into 8 into 27 into 25. Okay. So here the point used is if 5 is the coefficient of x square, then this sentence can be written mathematically. If 5 is the coefficient of x square, then this sentence can be written mathematically as 5x square. Similarly, 560 is the coefficient of x1 cube into x2 cube into x3 square. So this can be written mathematically as 560 into x1 cube x2 cube into x3 square. So that is the point used here. Now let us take another example. So in the expansion of x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 whole power 18. So there are four variables x1, x2, x3, x4 and n is 18. You need the coefficient of x1 power 4, x2 power 5, x3 power 6, x4 cube. Okay. So according to the formula, it is n factorial by q1 factorial into q2 factorial into q3 factorial into q4 factorial. n is 18, q1 is coefficient of x1 that is 4, q2 is coefficient of x2 that is 5, q3 is coefficient of x3 that is 6 and q4 is coefficient of x4 that is 3. And the answer is 18 factorial by 4 factorial into 5 factorial into 6 factorial into 3 factorial. Now let us take another example. You need to expand x minus 2y plus z whole cube using a multinomial theorem. Okay. So we need we know the formula for a plus b plus c whole square, but this is not a plus b plus c whole square, it is a whole cube. So let us transform the variables into two new variables. I have taken x as x1 and I have taken minus 2y as x2 and I have taken z as x3. Okay. So I have taken x as x1 minus 2y as x2 and z as x3. So basically there are three variables x, y, z and they are transformed into x, x1, x2, x3. There are also three variables and here n is the power, the power is 3. So let us start finding coefficient of x1 cube. Okay. So x1 cube coefficient will be 3 factorial by 3 factorial into 0 factorial into 0 factorial. The reason is according to the formula n factorial, in fact n is 3 by q1 factorial, q1 is 3 into q2 factorial, q2 is 
power of x2 there is no x2 term so you can assume it as x2 power 0 so that way it is 0 into 0 factorial and there is no x3 term you can assume it as x3 power 0 into 0 factorial hence the answer is 1 so coefficient of x1 cube as x1 cube is 1 so the term will be 1 times x1 cube let us take the next one x2 cube let us start finding x2 cube according to the formula it is n factorial by q1 factorial q1 is power of x1 there is no x1 term so let us assume it as exponent power 0 it is 0 factorial into q2 factorial q2 is power of x2 that is 3 and q3 factorial q3 is the power of x3 there is no x3 so let us assume the power as 0 so the answer is 1 since 1 is the coefficient of x2 cube then the term will be 1 times x2 cube similarly i have calculated the coefficient of x3 cube and also the coefficient of x1 square into x2 so the coefficient of x1 square into x2 will be here n is 3 3 factorial by q1 factorial q1 is x1 power that is 2 into q2 factorial q2 is the power of x2 that is 1 into 1 factorial into q3 factorial there is no x3 term you can assume as x3 power 0 into 0 factorial that is 3 since 3 is the coefficient so the entire term will be 3 times x1 square x2 okay similarly i have calculated the other terms also x1 square x3 x2 square x1 then x2 square x3 x3 square x1 x3 square x2 and finally i have calculated x1 x2 x3 for x1 x2 x3 the coefficient will be 3 factorial by q1 q1 is x1 power that is 1 q2 is x2 power that is also 1 q3 is x3 power that is also 1 so answer is 6 okay so since 6 is the coefficient the term will be 6 times x1 x2 x3 okay so why i have not calculated x3 cube x2 why i have not, not calculated x3 cube x2 if it is x3 cube x2 if it is x3 cube x2 then you add the powers so one power is 3 the other power is 1 so 3 plus 1 4 so here the condition is the sum of the powers must be n since n is 3 so the power cannot be any value other than 3 okay if you take x3 cube x2 you should not take you should not take x3 cube x2 the reason is for x3 cube x2 the powers are 3 and 1 adding 3 and 1 you will, will get 4 so you need to consider the terms so that the power the sum of the powers is only 3 so that's why whatever the terms i have taken for all those it satisfies the condition the sum of the powers is equals to 3 3 is n value okay so i have added all the terms so x1 plus x2 plus x3 whole cube equals to x1 cube plus x2 cube plus x3 cube and so on if you take x1 cube the power is 3 only one term power is 3 if you take x1 square x2 so the sum of the powers is 2 plus 1 3 if you take x3 square x2 the sum of the powers is 2 plus 1 3 so if you take x1 x2 x3 the sum of the powers is 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3 suppose if you take x3 cube x2 x3 cube x2 then the sum of powers will be 4 which cannot which should not be taken the condition is sum of the powers must be sum of the powers must be n here n is 3 okay but we basically need the expansion of x minus 2y plus z so let us replace x1 by x x2 by minus 2y and x3 by z okay so on simplification so x cube is x, x1 cube will be x cube and uh, x2 cube will be minus 2y whole cube and so on so in the previous expansion i have replaced x1 by x x2 by minus 2y and x3 by z and on simplification you get the answer as x cube minus 8y cube plus z cube minus 6x square y plus 3x square z plus 12y square x plus 12y square z plus 3z square x minus 6z square y minus 12xyz okay so that is the expansion of x minus 2y plus z whole cube now let us try these problems using multinomial theorem expand x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 whole power 4 here n is 4 the variables are 4 variables x1 x2 x3 x4 second question so in the expansion of x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 whole power 10 there are 5 variables and the power is 10 you need the coefficient of x1 cube into x2 square into x3 square into x5 cube x4 is missing there so you can assume it as into x4 power 0 okay 
the third question you need the coefficient of x power 5 y power 10 z power 5 w power 5 in the expansion of x minus 7 y plus 3 z minus w whole power 25 there are four variables and uh, n value is 25 okay in the fourth question you need the number of terms for the number of terms you have the formula n plus r minus 1 c n n is the power power is 25 r r is number of variables here number of variables are 4 okay it will be 25 plus 4 minus 1 c 25 okay in the last question you need the coefficient of x power 5 in the expansion of a plus bx plus cx square let us try these problems thank you